Hi guys, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Um, I'm seven, nearly eight years now into my diagnosis, and I suppose one of the things that's mostly asked is how come you're staying so well when um, others seem to be getting worse or others seem to be unfortunately passing away. I know I had a friend of mine the other day who said that her husband who was um, diagnosed roughly by the same time as me, who's now in a care home and in late stages. And um, she was so pleased that I was still doing well, but found it hard to understand how that was happening. Um, all I could say to her is I know a lot of people who's been diagnosed longer than myself, who are probably a lot better than I am. And um, there was a few I could name, which I won't, but they do very, very well and they do wonderful work in the community and in the dementia field by doing testimonials and by speaking at conferences. They do it in England, Wales, and all over the country, indeed all over the world, which is something I don't do. But I think it, what it does, it comes down to actually time of diagnosis. I was diagnosed very, very early on in this disease. I had the MRI scan that showed there was nothing, but an MRI scan just shows is taken just to make sure that there's nothing else that's underlying. And then when I was sent for a um, perfusion scan, and then it was shown, and I had the document, documentation to prove it, that my brain cells were dying. But that was at a very early stage. And even though I've got worse over the last seven years, I like to think that I'm not actually doing that bad. I know I'm worse now than what I was, but I'm not doing that bad. Some people think, well, is it because you're so busy all the time? Man? Is it because you're keeping your brain active by doing what you're doing? Again, I don't know. I don't know. Is it, is it, it's the truth because maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It's certainly not what I eat. Um, have you seen the size of me? And it's certainly not um, my exercise regime or anything like that. Um, but who knows? Maybe by keeping active, by going out every day, um, by taking time out at least four or five hours a day to relax, we me and Elaine just go out together and enjoy work, the world and enjoy life in general. Um, even though some people may think I'm on a computer 24 hours a day, believe me, I'm not. And I'm not usually on after about five or half past five, six o'clock at night anyway, uh, because of my sundowning. But I think it's because maybe I was diagnosed at the right time. A lot of people, especially my friend who was in late stages, we believe that they probably had dementia for quite some time and never realised it. Or maybe a lot of it was hidden. And I think this is why it's so important to get an early diagnosis. Because there are drugs out there that can allay this disease. There is no cure. We know that. But it does allay this disease for a short while. For all those who are living with this disease, whether they're farther down the line than me or living a better life than me, I wish you so much luck and so much love. And for all those speakers out there that have dementia, I wish you all the best in the world because you're doing a fantastic job. I know sometimes. You know, we may not see, we may not read from the same page. Um, the way I look at it, it's like supporting two football teams. You know, I'm a Bolton Wanderers fan. You may be a Liverpool fan. You know, we both wear different strips. We both have different things to look at, and we both see things different way. But at the end of the day, we're both doing the same job because we both want our team to win. And that team is our team, both mine and yours, because we want to go right to the top and make sure that everybody wins in this disease. So when I'm asked why I feel so well, usually Elaine says, well, try coming round to our house about nine o'clock at night and have a look at what norms that. That's not an open invitation, by the way. <laughs> um, no, that, that would be a, um, all sorts of privacy laws. Uh, that would never happen, but I can understand what she means when she says that, because of my son down and we're talking a different person. But carry on, we will, and carry on, I will, until next March, um, when it'll be World Rock Against Dementia Day, the biggest d dementia awareness raising event we're hoping that the world's ever seen. I have said I will retire from public speaking then. I did not say I would retire completely. 
Um, so I just thought there has been a few myths and urban legends going around. Um, I will not retire completely. Um, obviously, we still have the Purple Angels to run, and we still have the holidays and other things that we're trying to get off the ground, as well as many other things to help people with dementia. But um, this year has been a hard one because we've been to Leeds, Manchester, Walsall, Suffolk, soon to go to Kent, then down to Tooting, and up to Bristol in about November. So um, I think um, that's far enough uh, for one year. And uh, probably the talks that I do after that will probably be local talks. But I've loved every minute of it. And please don't think I'm going anywhere because I'm not. And I don't intend going anywhere for a long time. Have a great time. I hope you've enjoyed this. And please give us a shout and give us a wave and say hi. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.